Jai City Mayor Wang Minghui on Monday thanked supporters after winning the Jai City mayoral race on Saturday. It will be the fourth term in office for Huang after a one-term break from 2014 to 2018. Defeated DPP candidate Li Junyi also took to the streets to thank voters for their support. His loss has refueled calls for reform within the party, with a cabinet reshuffle expected in January. On a truck cruising down the streets of Jiayi, Major Huang Minhui thanked the almost 60,000 voters who supported her to win another term in office. <laughs> Huang has won a fourth term in office, making her the first local leader to serve four terms in the same city in Taiwan's history. Defeated DPP candidate Li Junyi also took to the streets of Jiayi on Monday to thank his supporters. We continue to move forward with the warmth of our supporters. I've been in Jiayi for more than 20 years. I've never left. Where I work is another matter. I always think about how to help Jiayi, what approaches I can adopt to help. Now now that the election is over, I think I might rest for a few days. Within the party, the loss in Jiayi is being seen as an extension of the DPP's defeat in the local elections last month. Calls for reform are only getting louder. We must find the reason quickly to respond to public opinion, break it all down and build it all up again. A lot of supporters truly love us, and they are giving us a lot of advice. They are also scolding us a lot. I think we need to speak up and we need to take action, not just on the political front of things, but also focus on people's livelihoods. Voices within the party are calling for a reshuffling of the executive yuan. Already, reports say that National Security Council head Wellington Koo could take over as premier on January 3rd after the current legislative session closes. The position of Vice Premier could be taken by Italian Mayor Zheng Wenchan, former Transport Minister Lin Jialong, or Ping Dong Commissioner Pan Bong An. There are reports on many different combinations of people, but if we don't address the problem at its root, will changing people make a difference? The DPP lawmaker says that although a reshuffling of the executive yuan is important, reforming the party should be the top priority.